we go. Okay. So uh, Pastor Joy is going to do the, the responses sort of verbally for all of us, for those who are following along or if we watch the recording later, it's easier if we're, we're, there's just one voice instead of all of us chiming in. So she's going to just speak along at home with her. The love of God poured into our hearts, the saving grace of Jesus Christ and the abundant life of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. <laughs> That priceless grace, that priceless grace, that priceless grace which gave me life, Jesus' life is priceless grace, that priceless grace. I am not muted anymore. Lord, you have chosen us and set us aside for service in the places where we live, work, and move. You have called us to be lights in dark places, drawing others into your glorious light. You have called us to speak out, proclaiming your love, justice, and mercy. You have called us to be neighbors to all people. For this privilege of service, we thank you but also ask humbly for your power and strength without which we can do nothing. Fill us, we pray, with your spirit that we might live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Amen. Listen to these words from John R.W. Stott. Social responsibility becomes an aspect not of Christian mission only, but also of Christian conversion. It is impossible to be truly converted to God without being thereby converted to our neighbor. Let us pray. Lord, lead us to our neighbors wherever they might be, that we might share your love for their lives. Our neighbors who surround us where we live, our neighbors who work with us, our neighbors who drink with us, our neighbors who pass us on the street or sit next to us on bus or train. 
may we be the smile that greets, the reassuring word, the helpful comment, the willing ear, the shoulder to cry on, the gift that blesses their life this day. Amen. You are invited to sing along to this hymn, the mute yourselves, please, so we can hear the hymn as it goes. A reading from Matthew, chapter 13, verse 31 through 33. He put before them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that someone took and sowed in his field. It is the smallest of all seeds, but when it has grown, it is the greatest of shrubs and becomes a tree so that the birds of the air come and make nests in its branches. He told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of flour until all of it was leavened. Um, we're going to go back, Greg, and have <clears throat> Tim read that one more time as we prepare for I Notice and I Wonder. Usually we verbally guide everybody, but we've already planned this stuff behind the scenes. This is why we practiced like 20 times earlier today to get it down. <laughs> so it would be seamless when we did it. Mm -hmm. I'll read this for us again. He put before them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like a mustard seed that someone took and sowed in his field. It is the smallest of all the seeds, but when it has grown, it is the greatest of shrubs and becomes a tree so that the birds of the air come and make nests in its branches. He told them another parable. The kingdom of heaven is like yeast that a woman took and mixed in with three measures of flour until all of it was leavened. Um, so now <clears throat> is the time that we notice and we wonder the text. Um, it isn't a time to tell all things or it's not a teaching time. It's just talking about what we notice and what we wonder about the text. Um, if you'd like, you can raise your hand or you can wave. Um, I may call on you because I'm apt to do that. But if you don't want to say anything, you have every permission to say, no, I'm good. Um, so, yeah. Um, what do folks notice and wonder? Yes. 
Yes, Lou. Small things get big. Mm. Small actions can have big results. Mm. Patricia. I always wondered about that mustard seed being the smallest because it really isn't. Um, Barb? Uh, I wonder about, uh, but when, no, I noticed, but when it was grown, that just really stood out to me today. Please call on Gloria. She's been waving her hand there trying to get. <laughs> okay, Gloria. I can't see her waving her hand, so Gloria. Oh, she's iPhone. I'm mute. You're muted, Gloria. We can't hear you. Is there any way you can unmute her, Greg? Or yeah, I, I, all right. I'll oh, just, good, 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 good. Um, Yay. Right. <laughs> okay. I just saw a series on PBS about all life forms. And it said that even clouds pick up minute seeds uh, or what might be a seed. And it is, it's microscopic and it's like dust and it rains down and then it showed after time how it actually did grow into a plant. It kind, it's kind of a thing that seasons deserts over the years. And mm -hmm. it's, talk about being tiny and growing into a big tree. That's what I'm thinking about when you, about the mustard seed thing. Mm -hmm. And I thought when I saw this and they say, God doesn't live, <laughs> I mean, this, this is a whole new area in kind of science, but it's, you know, it's these minute things and they eventually turn into seeds that grow into trees. It's, you know, it's great. <laughs> wow. Um, Dot. <clears throat> Is that a hand? Yeah, that that's that's a hand. Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know that this adds any significance to the story, but it struck me this time that the the sower planted this one seed in a field. What else was in the field? Mm -hmm. Was this field dedicated to the mustard seed? Or were there other things that perhaps were coexisting with the mustard seed there in the field? Mm -hmm. Greg? I'm wondering about Patricia's comment. What is the smallest? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, Florzel, do you have any notice or wonders? I'm good. Okay. <laughs> um, Sue Ping, I always like, oh, Tim, Pastor Tim. Yeah, I, I, I notice and wonder what I do every single time I read this which is why Jesus claims that mustard grows into a tree. <laughs> it does not. Mm. So why, you know, that's just, I would watch why, <laughs> why, mm. why did he claim that? I'm um, Su Ping, did you have a thought? Notice or wonder? Actually, yes, I do. 
have you ever seen breeding really exam seeds? Have you ever seen many different kinds of seeds at all? They are all very different and very interesting. Have you seen, like say, marigold seeds or or you can, anything you can imagine? They, they look so very different and it is really amazing. There is nothing to do with this, so but just to let you. <laughs> <laughs> it does seeds. Yeah. I'm Larian Ann. You look frozen to me. I just want to make sure I'm not missing you. There's no, there. we're good. We're good. There, there, there. <laughs> yeah. I right. still wonder why he speaks in parables. That's all. I'm still. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I'm an academic. I'd like to hear the straight talk. So, anyway. <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Anyone else have a notice or wonder? Yep, Lou. I wonder if any of the gardener people know what is the smallest seed. I'm with <laughs> Greg. <laughs> Some kind of grain, I think. some kind of a grain. Mm -hmm. I don't know, I'd have to Wikipedia. All right. Google says the mustard seed is the smallest. <laughs> yeah, but it's quoting the, it's quoting the Matthew. I had, I did, I, I did, I, <laughs> and it's a part of, there, there, I did, while you were all saying I'd have to do it, I'm like, well, I'm not gonna wait. It's some kind of orchid seed is what they said it was. So, mm -hmm. oh yeah, Daryl, Daryl was gonna answer it. I'm sorry, Daryl. I can't hear you so well. And you're on mute again. Uh, okay, can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Okay. Um, I asked Siri and she said the orchid seed. So we were on the same. <laughs> Although if you've ever <laughs> if you've ever eaten a poppy seed bagel, I swear they've got to be <laughs> the smallest seeds. The epiphytic orchid in the tropical rainforest. Some seeds are only one three hundredths of an inch, 85 micrometers long. Oh. It's interesting how we can come up with so many different answers using a Google search. Oh yeah, it's on the internet, it must be true. I wonder about that. <laughs> um, all right, any last minute noticing or wondering? Thank you all for sharing. All right. I didn't call in vain, but he would have noticed anything. Right. Change my heart, oh God. Make it ever true. Change my heart, oh God. May I be like you. You are the my heart. 
Let us pray. Heavenly Father, source of our life and salvation. Be the center of all we are and the life we lead. Lord Jesus, light in this dark world, illuminate our hearts and minds. Be the center, the center of, of all the we are we and the life we lead. Holy Spirit, water of life, flow through our hearts and into our lives. Be the center, the center of all we are and, and the, the life, life we lead. We Heavenly Father, make our lives fruitful as branches and shoots of the one true vine. Be the center of all we are and the life we need. Jesus Christ, servant king, may we understand the meaning of service. Be the center of all we are and the life we lead. <clears throat> Holy Spirit, empower us to be the people we could be. Be the center of all we are and the life we need. <clears throat> Let us spend a moment or two just thinking about who is our neighbor, how we might serve them better in these coming days. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offensive way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. I invite you to pray with me um, the Lord's Prayer. Oh, Abba, Emma, Emma, who art in Lord heaven, heaven. Hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come. come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory ever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> The love of God, the light of Christ, and the power of the Spirit control your every thought and action this day and all days. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Thank then, you so much. Yeah. Okay. Um, <laughs> if folks want to hang around and have a little bit of fellowship time, we can. You don't have to. Um, but if you want to, that's what we will do here. That when we post I, the recording on our page later, we cut out the fellowship times, so you don't have to. Okay. Have... Yeah, I got choir practice. So I, yeah, some of some of you's got a place you got to be real fast here. So. Okay. Thank you, everyone. The music was wonderful and good seeing everybody. Yeah. Good to see you too. Bye. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Love the music. Thank you and the prayers. Uh, Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Here's a general question I have. Is there a way of finding out who else is with us that is not pictured on the screen? So the only people who are with us live are the ones you do see on the screen or you see a name for. Because as I as I look, it says like there when there were maybe 13 or 14 pictures on the screen, it said that there were 16 participants. Oh. So the, it, when that happens, you can be able to see an arrow. If you're looking at the the group, you know, in the gallery, 
if you, there'll be an arrow and you can go over to the other screen and see the other ones. Thank you. You're welcome. So I, I was I was going to say that because on my screen we did I didn't need the arrow everybody fit onto just one screen so yeah yeah that's yeah if they are in that that is exactly how you would find them and but yeah everybody who was on live um, is visible one way or another. Um, Well, it just kind of sounds like everyone's tired at this point. Yeah. <laughs> sounds like it. Sounds it's like it. A, it's been a day. So um, thanks yeah. all for being here. I'll, uh, I'll send the recording out tonight. And uh, all right. we'll try to get her up Thank on our you. page. All right. Yep. Awesome. Thank, Thank you so much. Till we meet again. Yep. Have a good evening. <laughs>